Tenants at the hub on campus in West Lafayette have now settled into their apartment. This comes after two delayed move-in dates. News 18's Micah Upshaw spoke with students looking for answers. The management for this apartment is not really mature, and they are not ready for this, like for for the new renters here. Ross Chen and his roommate are among many hub on campus West Lafayette tenants, wondering what went wrong. It it doesn't make sense for me, cause like I have I have paid all the like rent, and it's really expensive. The hub on campus is one of West Lafayette's newest options for off-campus living. The lease gave tenants a move-in date for August 12th, but on August 1st, management sent an email with new plans. I get an email saying that the move-in date has been delayed five days. And yeah, and they're um, basically, they. I don't think there was any explanation. The new date was set for Saturday, August 17th, but the day before, another email was sent out. And it was like, read, must read, um, uh, we can't move in tomorrow because we didn't get the certificate of occupancy from the city of West Lafayette, which basically means that the apartment is not habitable. Finding a place to stay until the hub met city requirements is what Juwan Lee calls a distressing experience. It's like beef a week before, two weeks before school starts and there's nothing available in West Lafayette, like nothing. It obviously like messed up my plans and I had to like scramble to find housing. Lee was able to find temporary housing and so was Chen, but he says it wasn't cheap. I, I just booked the um, hotel um, at the Four Point near the um, Walmart and it's about like $200 a night. The hub management team issued a statement promising reimbursement for tenants extra expenditures. According to Jason Sherman, the communication contact for the hub, the management team will look into further compensation on a case-by-case -case basis. In West Lafayette, Micah Upshaw, News 18. Students were able to get keys to their apartments Sunday morning. News 18 spoke with students who say the rooms don't meet their expectations. News 18's Micah Upshaw will have that story tonight on News 18 at 5.30.